Omnichannel is all over the place. The next step in the process brings in robots, IoT devices, drones, and is something called Unified Commerce. This course, the School of Retail's Unified Commerce course, helps you understand this new world. It's brought to you by the Wizard of Paws. Retail is complicated. This picture shows the complexity of connecting all the various applications in a retail environment. Now imagine, spread this out over 2,000 stores, and management becomes a nightmare. Learn how Unified Commerce helps you overcome this problem. The agenda for this course is, what is Unified Commerce? Unified Commerce started with Omnichannel. An omni-channel is being able to purchase things through different channels. Your online channel, your mobile phone channel, your physical store channel. Unified Commerce starts adding things like IoT devices. In this case, your refrigerator in your home has found out that you are low on eggs. So it adds eggs to your shopping list. Now you have things from the website, mobile, and the IoT devices. And when you are ready, you have the shopping list sent to the store. The store receives the list and has to develop a path for the robots to go pick up these eggs. That path is dependent on what item is inventory, what is the store layout, what are the customer preferences, and what kind of eggs do they like to buy. Once that path is built, it is sent to the robot. It drives around picking up the items and putting them in the cart. When you have the items on your shopping list, it then moves to payment. So you want to be able to pay. Now in the payment, the payment moves to the payment processing system, which allows money to be to go to the bank and get authorization from the bank. It also splits off sales and use tax for being sent to the treasury. This avoids you having to pay them separately. And once the item is paid for, you have to figure out how to deliver it to the customer. You either start with a drone delivery or you split it off and send it to a self-driving automobile, in which case you have to know where the automobile is parked. If the customer is a self-driving automobile, it is somewhere in the parking lot and you have to find it to put the items in. It then either gets delivered to their home through this self-driving automobile or through a drone delivery automobile. This is Unified Commerce. In this course, we will learn how to create and interoperate with an API set using the OMG slash art standards. These standards cover, cover somewhere around 90% of the interfaces used in retail. Leverage them to reduce the time, money, and complexity of your interoperations. One major company has had to create over 2,000 translations to help all the vendors interoperate. These standards let vendors focus on what their application does and not waste time creating that which already exists or having to translate their work to connect to others. This class is at the School of Retail at thinkific.com. School of Retail .com slash courses slash unified dash commerce. To gain an understanding of the complexities of the unified commerce world from the Wizard of Paws. My name is Richard Halter. In addition to this course, to help understand the standards details, I've written a book called Arts for Retail. It is available on Amazon. Thank you, and please look for my next course on a modern retail architecture.